Hey everyone, this is Sujit. Welcome to the overview of Android 5.0.2 Lollipop. It is still not official. I got this. Uh, this is the Cyanogen mod version. And uh, it is not completely stable but good enough for uh, to be used as a daily driver. Let's check out some of the new features that comes with this particular version of Android. Let's go back to the home screen and the lock screen that's where the new features have been added let's take a look at that one by one and as you can see on the lock screen i get the notifications and i have the option of tapping on it on the notification twice to open the notifications directly from the lock screen and i can dismiss it by swiping it left or right and similarly i can unlock the screen by swiping up and I can directly go to the dialer if I want by swiping right. I can open the camera app by swiping left. These are some of the new features that have been added in Android Lollipop. Let's swipe up to unlock the screen. Let's take a look at the status bar. If I swipe once, it takes me to, it shows me all the notifications. Here you can see three tiles that I can touch to dismiss all the notifications at once or I can swipe them one by one. And if I swipe again, it takes me to the quick settings. This is the usual, you can tap on the icon to enable, disable. And if I swipe up, I can hide them again. And if I want to go directly to the quick settings, I have the option of two finger swipe or if you would like there's an option which you can enable that will uh, that will let you go directly to the quick settings if you swipe on the left side as you can see here I swiped once on the left side and I directly took me to the quick settings so let's take a look at that and I go to team as X spare parts and within that I can tap on status bar here it will let me this particular option quick pull down if I swipe on the left side it will take me directly to the quick settings another good feature that I use is the network traffic and here you can enable it I used to use a separate app for this in KitKat and now it comes out of the box pretty good it shows to the real-time updates of any data traffic happening on your phone and let's go back to the home screen another new feature is the recent apps you can tap on the menu key for two seconds and it will show up all the recent apps that has been used the scrolling is also very smooth and you can dismiss them by swiping them left or right or you can open them by tapping on it once go back to the let's go back to the home screen and even the latest chrome it is integrated into this whole android lollipop design there is no close tab here every tab that you open that goes into the recent app I open the new tab now if I, if I want to close this I have to hold on to the uh, menu key for two seconds and then I can dismiss it and now next time if I open Chrome it takes me back to the Gmail I can dismiss this as well now if I go back it's all new fresh all the tabs have been closed and another new feature is the users there's a feature to add guest account so if I add a guest this phone would be just like it has been there are still some bugs as you can see it is just like a new uh, you use your phone for the first time all the settings are default and I can go back to my user account I remove this guest okay it will switch me back to the original my profile 
another feature that I, that I wanted to talk about is the interruptions. It is similar to what you had the silent port in the previous versions. And to access that, you need to toggle on the volume key of your phone. And uh, this is the one plus one. The key is on the left side, so I toggle that, and it shows me three options: none, priority, and all. As you can see, priority is highlighted. So my phone is currently in priority mode. I come to know that by this icon, by the star icon in the status. The star icon indicates it's in priority mode, so I can toggle it to all by tapping all. So all is the normal mode. That means. The phone will sound normal. All the notifications, all the messages, calls will come through. Or everything will sound normal. And if I go into priority mode, only the prioritized applications would sound. All others would be muted. So let's take a look at the priority mode. I select priority, and I have the option of setting it indefinitely, or I can set it up for a time period. So let's check out this further on. So here you can see. the priority interruptions in this particular case only the events and reminders that that has been turned on so calls messages those are disabled so even if i get a call it won't sound messages it won't sound and similarly you can define applications which should be priority or no so for that let's go to settings swipe up again settings and Let's put sound and notifications within this I have the option app notifications. Here I can decide which application is it a priority or no. As you can see, for G, I have already set. This is a toggle that decides if this application is priority or no. So if I toggle it off, Gmail is no longer a priority application. So any email that I get. it won't sound it will come as notification it will be muted no sound for that 